Hey everybody, we're Kingdom Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Friday afternoon, December the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 3, 121 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6 furlong sprint on Aqueduct's inner dirt track, 2 year olds race for a starter allowance tag of some $41,000. Contenders number 1, Gal has to like it. Number 6, copy my swagger. Number two, Ganador, and number five, Little Wyatt. Number one, Gal has to like it. Takes a 12-level class drop as the overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at today's distance to six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in each of his four career starts to date, winning twice, including a power run win in the second race back. Number six, Copy My Swagger, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in each of his three career starts to date with his last two efforts including a maiden breaking win in his second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey David Cohen, trainer David Jacobson, send him post for today. They've whacked the tote board with 60% of more than 180 entries saddled as a team to date. Race three summary, number one, Gal has to like it, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number six, copy my swagger, number two, Ganador, and number five, Little Wyatt. 1625 in the third from Aqueduct. Let's go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park, Hallandale Beach, race 3, 134 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for an allowance purse of some $53,500. Tenders number 3, Norway Star, number 6, Lava Girl, number 5, Garota Carioca, and number 1, Last Word. Number three, Norway Star, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, racing at today's distance to a mile on the dirt. Saw back to back power run board hits in her last two starts. The morning line favorite is number six, Lava Girl, who drops in class, has produced a quartet of power runs in her last five outings, including a power run win in her fifth race back. A race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 91. However, I'm also going to note that I downgraded her a notch in my multiple entry contenders list since she has not raced in more than a year. That last race was some 383 days ago, to be a little bit more precise. Race three summary, number five, Norway Star, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Lava Girl, number five, Garota Carioca, which in Portuguese means girl from a Rio, and number one last word, 3651, in the third today from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots stay in West Virginia for both long shots tonight. Race 9 at Charlestown, the 8 to 1 shot. Number 11, Duchess of Windsor, Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Nice overall speed for the 6.5 for a long sprint. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia. Race 8, number 4, SS Simply Awesome, a 4 to 1 shot. Comes off a of maiden breaking power run win in his first asking 11 days ago here at Mountaineer Park. So handicapping from both the Big A Aqueduct and Gulf Stream Park on a Friday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.